There's a field over there. I hear gunshots. Jeez, I don't believe this. I could be watching the Mets game, but no! I could drive back in time with a pushy genius driver and that mechanical lemon that probably wouldn't even run with a gas engine in it. I'll give you a hexadecimal train. I heard that! Hey, I wonder what those big trenches are. Look, screaming soldiers, French flags, guns and bullets. A war, perhaps? Ah, yes, it must be Bastille Day. Don't go over there! They're fighting World War One. What makes you an expert? Where's Mrs. Asher when you finally need her? Certainly! You go on ahead, I'll catch up later. Steve, can we leave now, please? I can't fix this yet. We'll have to stand and fight. Don't you have some polysyllabic gizmo so we can get just one or two years ahead? Well, there is... The last the resort. Last resort. Last resort. No, Steve. Not that. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, what exactly is the last resort? You see, it's rather technical. Let me take a moment to explain. Let me take a brief moment to explain. Upon reflection, perhaps it might be better to just give it a whack with the side of my fist. Incoming! Get in! It worked! Wait a minute! I think I see Audie Murphy! Genius! Ah, narrow escape. Now let's go. Alas, we have no destination. What do you mean? Why not 1933? There's a problem. A problem? Gosh, we were running so smoothly. We can't go forward. Oh, do tell, Steve. Why exactly can we not go forward? It's the empirical crosslink crackshaft portion of the Mega Hyper Chronological Transmission, or the ECCPMCT. ECCPMCT! Did you hear something? You mean the soothing sounds of Aretha Franklin? No, I mean a whiny black woman. Oh, in that case, no. Shall we go? Uh, no, let's stay here and get bombed somewhere. Where to? No, anywhere. This is going on and on. Should have made a video instead. Very well, I'll just randomly select a chronological destination. Why don't we try yesterday's winning pick four number? Pick four it shall be. Okay, now this is going to get sort of touch and go. There's still a few things out of whack. Perhaps if I slid my finger in here... Steve, are you all right? Yeah, I, I think so. Darn! Wherever we are, uh, we're there. Oh, a brilliant observation, Mayor McCheese. Do you smell anything? It smells like bounce. Yeah, it does have that April fresh scent that could only be bounce. Of course, it could be the leading brand of fabric softener. Oh, my God. We're in Truman Capote's laundry. How can you be sure? Like I said, it says right here, scene seven, Truman Capote's laundry. Ah, yes. We must have slipped a disc in the relational proportional size continuity mechanism. That would do it. Look at the bright side. Let's just end this scene now before we have to hire some union goon to do Truman Capote's voice. Hey, Steve. Yeah, Noel? You uh, think we squeezed 20 points out of this assignment yet? Not quite. Perhaps if we had a really good chase scene. Ah, yes, the inevitable chase. Leslie, will you turn on the chase music, please? Yeah, hold on for a second. No, no, the contemporary chase music. Jeez, Noel, we really blew the continuity. I bet Brad and Kevin are asleep by now. I can almost see Eric putting the finishing touches on his German assignment. Mrs. Poganowski with that grin pasted on her face. Hey guys, I think I got Mark Knopfler, all right? Fine, fine. Well, which hire the schmo? I wanted to keep the affirmative action people off me. Let's just use this music, I'm getting a headache. Right, now think. What or who is chasing us? The yellow submarine. Steve, quick! They're gaining! I think I can see that little purple guy! We're gonna have to dive for it! Open the hatch! Right! Where are my water wings? Well, Steve, this hasn't been a total loss. True, we destroyed the way back generator. We forgot to bring provisions. We're stranded in the year who knows what year it is. And in all likelihood, we're now going to be eaten by large ravenous sharks. But! Uh, what was my original thought? There were so many things I wanted to accomplish. Let the Celtics draft James Worthy. Push Michael Jackson into a busy intersection. Uh, what happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Forget it. Let us swim. Yes, swim. Washed onto a deserted isle. No food, no water. If only there were someone. 
So I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother, Doug. How's it going, eh? Steve, look! That's a mirage, you fool. Bob and Doug McKenzie don't exist. No, I, I mean, look behind you. The time machine has washed up with us. Saved! We're saved! 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 Wait a minute. Don't tell me. No, no, it can't be. The bilateral optic glitch flabber zeep has come loose from the geosync radiation chamber. All the kryptonite has leaked out. Can't we use another source of power? Well, if we had some bronze, I mean, maybe we could talk business. But all we have in this damn island is a tree, two coconuts, some sand, my English award medallion, and a bunch of rocks. Wait a minute. Back, back up. This is a memoir like no other. It chronicles the expansion of man's consciousness... Not that far, you moron. Back to the part about your English award medallion. You don't expect me to melt my 1988 English Department Award medallion into the geosync radiation chamber. I mean, Mrs. Poganowski worked for months on that medallion. She spent long nights in her basement darning socks with her left hand and forging molten bronze with her right. She would die if I found out I melted it down just to get out of a cheap 20-point assignment. No, no, I can't do it. I just can't do it, and that's final. Steve, I despise you. I always have, and I always will. Yeah, come on, Steve, be a dude. Here's a lighter. Oh, all right. Let me make a quick charcoal rubbing of it first. Steve, you spineless jellyfish. If you don't melt that thing right now, I'll kill you. Okay. I'm sorry, Mrs. Pogo. There. And now, back to 1988. Back to 1988. You know, Noel... Although we accomplished diddly by traveling through time, I think we can still learn something from this yet. You're right. Fat Albert and the gang should never have... Stop it. I was going to say that history is concrete, and man does what he has to do, and it must be working because we're not all radioactive pretzels yet. Yeah, I learned another lesson too, Steve. What's that, comrade? I learned never to let you talk me into one of your half-baked AP English ideas again. We did this assignment completely wrong. We have failed. You need this course to graduate? No. Then clam up. Take us home, Mr. Sulu. Everybody's hurt.